This particular segment of footage illustrates the application of Templac striping onto the X2 airframe. Templac striping is a temperature sensitive material that's used for thermal testing of aircraft and other items. It's also known as Tempalac or temperature sensitive lacquer. It's a product that's available in either paint form or on, as crayon sticks. And it's used not only for aerospace purposes, but also for electronics, firearms testing, automobile manufacturing, and even racing. The different colors you see represented here indicate different temperature thresholds. Once a particular color's temperature threshold is reached, the paint begins to melt and run or change color. And depending on the application pattern used, a very accurate assessment of airframe heating can be assembled as part of the testing program. Now, today, computer simulation is used extensively for thermal analysis of airframes, but they still use Templac paint uh, extensively. A good example of this is the Burt Rutan Paul Allen Spaceship One that became the first private suborbital spacecraft that was successful. Templac paint was used extensively on that, and if you travel to the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, you can clearly see the Templac striping all over that particular airframe. As part of the research for this DVD package, we've been able to find evidence of Templac paint application on every flight in the X2 series from flight 15 on. Again, the primary purpose of the X2 program was to explore airframe heating at high air speeds. These later flights in the X2 program were the beginning of what was intended to be the high speed portion of the test program. Another thing of particular note on this footage is the absolute degree of abuse that the paint job experienced on these high speed flights. Here you can see the bubbling of the paint where it literally heated, flaked off, and, and left exposed metal.